Hey everyone, Thomas here, Free Range Drive Farm. Uh, welcome. So today is June 1st, 2021. Uh, yesterday I came out here in the apiary and did a, a hive check and noticed that uh, looks like my purple and yellow hive both possibly swarmed. Certainly purple one, well, fairly certain purple one swarmed. Um, I didn't see any evidence of a recent queen in either of those hives. Uh, and I checked our Hoover hive and they had probably 15 or 20 swarm cells that were capped and they had no eggs. So I think they had no eggs. They may have had some eggs. So they are either about to swarm or they just swarmed. But those uh, swarm cells haven't hatched yet. So I decided to take advantage of that. And I'm gonna kinda do, I'm gonna try doing a three-way split with the Hoover hive. Uh, so I've got one of these, one of these resource hive deals uh, that's supposed to be kind of two separate uh, smaller hives next to each other. Uh, it's supposed to be four frames, four frames, and then you can build higher four frames on top. Although this is very, has a ton of space with four frames, so I think I'm going to put five in this bottom box. The uh, other boxes fit four, um, five they don't fit, but this one fits five. So I think I'm going to put five in each of these. And the way you lay these out is you put a honey frame, then a frame of brood, and then maybe a partial frame of brood, and then empty, uh, empty foundation. So we're going to do that. We're going to try and find a couple of decent honey frames. Uh, I may steal a honey frame from one of the other hives, and then we'll put in each of these a uh, frame with the queen cells, the, the swarm cells, and then another frame in there, and we'll see what happens from there. So that's the plan today. Um, I'm not super happy about the orientation of this because there's going to be bees coming out this way. And the way we sort of have this apiary set up is those swarms, the bees go out that direction. And these, they all go out that way. So this middle, you can kind of walk freely around the middle. And that is going to change with this uh, double nuke setup. But I think that'll be okay. We'll see. When I was planning that, I was going to have it turned uh, kind of 90 degrees, maybe have it over here facing, going that direction and back. Um, but we've had an opportunity to present itself with the Hoover Hive, and so I am just going to take advantage and we'll see what happens. Uh, this is going to be kind of an experimental year for me with all these hives. Uh, we're trying kind of single deeps with a medium instead of two deeps. Uh, for brood chambers and we're going to try the double nuke and a bunch of things so it should be fun and interesting uh, so come on along for the ride get these girls smoked down i don't believe i saw the queen yesterday in here so this is a nice nice frame of nectar it's not honey but it's nectar, so that will do. All right, so that will do for one of the boxes. This is another good frame of honey, so that'll do for the other box, the other side. So that makes me happy. Here's a frame of young larva and some capped whole ton of swarm cells. So these two are definitely going to go into one of the boxes. We still have to leave resources in this. So I had three frames with swarm cells on them. And I got to find those again. This has some brood, so that might be a good one for one of the frames, one of the boxes. This has a lot of brood on it. I don't see any swarm cells on this one, but I see some, some good brood. All right, this one's got some swarm cells on it and some brood. 
so we'll put this here's the the swarm cells there's just one there is only one two three okay there was one up here on the side I don't know if you can see that or not oh hell that one oh that one's not capped yet okay I thought they had busted open but it seems to be not capped, so they may abandon that one. Yeah, they might abandon that one, but I see three, three swarm cells on the bottom of this. And this one has capped queens, capped swarm cells. So this one will this one will stay with this box. All right. So let's move you guys over here. And I'm going to put the honey cell, the honey frames in the middle, the brood frames just outside of that with the bees on it. that there's this we are gonna shake some uh, nurse bees into this into these boxes too all right here's this honey frame Put that in there now for those of you who are saying hey you're just moving them five ten feet aren't they gonna get lost well these girls are nurse bees they haven't gone anywhere yet so they're not gonna get lost and what's gonna happen is all the foragers are going to come back to the other hive. So I'm going to leave them with fewer bees than there will be over here. Alright, so... That frame, that... Put this here... So that's a tight fit. Maybe I will only put four in here, but four just seems... Four just seems like there's too much space. Cause look at all this room in here. Let me put these girls in here. I guess we'll spread it out. There's that. All right, we need another frame of brood for this one. All right, we're gonna take this frame of brood, drop that in there, and they have honey queen cells brood yeah just look at how much space there is between these that's just crazy all right now i'm going to shake some bees down just let them divide up I'm shake these girls down now this is another this frame i'm keeping in the other the other hive you can see there's a couple of a couple of swarm cells three of them i'll shake these girls down All right, so we're gonna close this up. I think these girls are good. So we'll close this up here with these covers. There, top cover. All right, we'll call that good. Now, you can see what kind of, kind of a mess I've done. All right, so you can see there's still a lot of a lot of bees in this original original hive. Now, if I accidentally grab the queen, then that'll be a problem. <laughs> I don't. I'm not sure what that might actually cause. If the queen I grabbed her and she's in a different location now, she might actually think she swarmed, and they might not even swarm. So that could be a good thing. So in here I've got three frames with brood and honey. So these girls, four frames of brood and honey. So they should have plenty. And then they've got this empty foundation to build out. And they've got the, that medium super that was on top that has nectar in it as well. So they should have plenty of food and resources.
All right, so now we got 10 frames back in here, six empty ones, and four frames full of other goodness. So let's get, now having this mini, there's a medium super on top, maybe too much room for these girls, but I think we're gonna keep it this way for now and see what happens. There's, there we go, don't get squished. Good girls. So you can see they were, they were building up, up on top. So they've got plenty of nectar up here. Plenty of nectar. So hopefully these girls will build up pretty quick. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sweat pouring down my face. It's kind of the theme of uh, the apiary this summer. Oh, let's see if I can do something fun with my hair. Nope, that's not fun. I'm not getting my faux hawk going. Uh, anyway, so that was fairly quick. I wanted to be, I wanted to be, um, sorry, I almost stepped on a, a little boy down there. I wanted to be quick about it as least, less invasive as I could, considering I'm ripping half of, half of their hive away. Uh, so everything seemed to go pretty well. I did not, did not look for a queen. Uh, and the reason being, there's, I made, just made sure there's swarm cells in every, uh, in the Hoover Hive and the two halves of this now, I guess that's orange-ish. We'll call it orange, we'll call it orange. Uh, in the orange, oh, excuse me, in the orange hive. So hopefully if I did catch the queen and she's in there in the orange hive, she'll go, hey, uh, oh, I guess we swarmed, we're good. Um, but if she's in Hoover Hive, Hopefully they don't take too many bees, and we'll see how it goes. So I'm going to leave these girls all alone for two weeks. Today's June 1st, so somewhere around June 14th, uh, I will take a look at these two hives and see what we see. Actually, I guess it's three of them now. So we've got the, the two resource hives, the four framers, and uh, the ten frame Hoover Hive. Uh, so we're growing yet again. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight eight full hives and the two resource colonies. Uh, so I think I hopefully am done growing for this season. We'll see, those swarms kind of caught me off guard. Uh, but uh, hey, that's beekeeping, right? So thanks for tuning in guys. Be well, be safe, be happy, be good, uh, and be mindful of the bees. We need them.